good evening everybody today we are going to learn about the factors which influence a reaction you know that reagent attacks substrate and thus a reaction is happened again reason attacks substrate and thus a reaction is happened well let me say you something a reaction may occur or may not occur right depending upon the density of electron but where at the site of reaction in the substrate right so a reaction may occur or may not occur is totally different on the electron density in the substrate or the site of reaction that is it may be substrate or it may be uh, reagent have a look here inductive effect mesomeric effect and electromeric effect this kind of effect or this kind of factor influence the reaction okay let me clear it the factor which influence the electron density in the substrate are inductive effect mesomeric effect and electromeric effect we have to learn these three effects separately but today we are going to learn about inductive effect so let's get started at first let me uh, give you uh, some basic explanation you know that uh, this is a covalent bond and this is a sigma bond right this is carbon atom and this is chlorine atom and in this structure uh, the electron uh, of this bond is uh, going to is going near to chlorine and we know that electron is negative so if ne if electron go from carbon to chlorine then what will happen chlorine will be partially negative and carbon will be partially positive why electron is going uh, to going to near to chlorine because chlorine is more electro electronegative atom you know that electronegativity means the power of attack electron in the bond so then electronegativity uh, that is uh, to attract the electron is uh, is powerful uh, of chlorine uh, rather than carbon rather than carbon so if you uh, if you uh, show this bond like uh, like this uh, this is the orbital or you can say bond orbital uh, you, you know that the electron electron wave is very close to uh, chlorine right so what will happen here chlorine will be partially positive and uh, carbon will be partially negative and what is polar bond right the uh, polar bond will have partial positive partial positive and partial negative charge and how polar bond is uh, formed due to the difference of electronegativity polar bond is formed remember remember uh, inductive effect uh, involves the electron of only sigma bond right sigma bond what is sigma bond sigma bond uh, is form uh, from from head to head overlap of pp orbital or ss orbital right and sigma bond is uh, what is bond and a question may come before you what is bond bond is a one type of force bond is not uh, bond is nothing it is but a one type of force right so we have learned many things from this section you know that uh, this is the the in this picture you you see that uh, this carbon is partially positive and chlorine is partially negative right 
we, we, we know that uh, now I am going to give you the definition of inductive effect or I effect. Inductive effect is written as I effect. Inductive already I have told you what what is inductive effect, but in this but now I am going to tell these things formally. The inductive effect means the polarity produced in a molecule, right? Polarity, partial positive and negative, produce, produce. Uh, or created product to produce in a molecule as a result of higher right as a result of higher electronegativity of one atom compared to another and inductive effects uh, involves uh, only involves only here this is not on this is only uh, uh, sigma bond, sigma electron or sigma uh, sigma electron of sigma bond you can say like this so what classification what is the classification of inductive effect we have to go to next slide here you say carbon hydrogen bond right carbon hydrogen bond This bond, this this carbon hydrogen bond is is used as a standard, right? Zero effect is assumed in this case. That is no partial positive and negative. But if you replace hydrogen by any any atom, uh, here X may be chlorine, bromine, fluorine, or nitrogen, or any atom, right? What will happen? Electron may go from X to carbon or electron electron uh, come from carbon to hydrogen, from carbon to uh, X. If carbon lose, if carbon lose electron here then carbon will be partially positive and x will be partially negative and this type of uh, effect is called minus effect minus i inductive effect in case of minus i inductive effect electron will go from carbon to x right and in case of plus i effect electron will electron will go x to carbon in easy word you have to remember uh, if electron uh, go from x to carbon then this is uh, plus i effect or plus i inductive effect and if electron uh, comes from carbon to x and x become uh, partially negative then this type of effect is called minus inductive minus i inductive effect ekhane uh, here e f f e c t effect so let me tell you Here you know that this is uh, tar tertially uh, uh, tertially uh, carbon. This is secondary carbon and this is primary carbon. And you know that tertially alkyl group. This is tertiary alkyl. And the name of this compound is uh, mm, uh, name is not important here. Uh, we will learn it in the later video. So the more will be alkyl group, the more will have the power, uh, the more will have the power of plus I effect. These are the group we show, show uh, plus I effect. And uh, here, I would like to tell you some name that show, uh, that show minus I effect, right? 
it may be fluorine or it may be fluorine uh, fluorine bromine right uh, fluorine bromine chlorine like this so here i would like to tell you that atoms or groups which lose electrons right electrons towards a carbon atom are said to have a plus i effect and atoms or groups which uh, draw electrons uh, away from a carbon uh, are said to have minus i effect and again i am going to tell you some example of minus i effect group uh, nitro uh, nitro uh, nitro uh, fluorine chloride uh, bromide hydroxyl ion or benzene uh, phenyl, phenyl group this will show minus i effect so I hope you have learned something from this uh, tutorial. I hope Philip and expect that uh, you will do well in your examination. Thanks for viewing this video. Be well.